Hey, YouTube, we're at round three of the Modern Challenge. I am one and one. I lost the second, I won the first round against a Rally the Ancestors deck and then lost against humans in which I made a mistake. My, um, I messed up and uh, just cost me the game in game two. And then I made, or game one. I should have won game one, but I didn't, which cost me the match. Game two, I had a questionable other play that I could have done that would have either given me more outs to win versus would have made it so I was done on the crackback. It was kind of interesting. There's a lot of cool aspects where that could have gone. I should probably go... I probably should actually delete these plugs. Because this is old news. Yeah. But yeah, now we're coming in here for round three in 12 seconds, so let's hope we let's hope we get it. Lost the die roll. I'm recording, right? I did that. Yeah, there we go. Go team. If I'd have had my connector, I would have been able to do it on two screens, but I left my connector at work. I think I can do better. I don't think it sounds very good. We're not gonna get a shadow on the play. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds much better. This hand is like whew. put this in the bottom. It's a turn two, double death shadow. All right, here we go. Didn't need to see that, but at least we get to crack for eight on turn two. Play this. Field of Ruin, Field of Ruin. I'm going to take this Gideon. Though I could take... I could take the Verdict and then handle the Gideon. Because they're going to be able to cast this Verdict. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill them. I don't have Delirium, so I can kill... I can hit them for 8 on turn 3, but they're on the play. I think I'm going to take this Verdict and then just get under this Gideon. But they might not even be able to cast the Gideon, right? Because they'd have to field a root. Yeah, so... I think we can get to a position where we can kill this Gideon if they play it. And we might just draw a stub. Alright, so I'm going to just play two Death Shadows. And I'm going to get double watery grave to not give them a choice. This can give me a green source. And then I hope that they, there's a chance that they just won't hit the Gideon next turn. And I can stub. Like they have, they have to field a ruin next turn, but if they just play the Gideon, then I can kill them. Kill it, at least. Then I have to worry about the Jace. Oh my god. Oh my god. Actually. Oh. That actually just happened. And we drew the swamp too. God, that's so bad. That was just disastrous. That's, that's that's kind of frustrating. Yeah, we're gonna let it go. I probably should have just stubbed it here to make it so that I could. Oh, no, I'm gonna stub that. 
it's gonna let them get their other Jace into play, but I don't know, I can't stub this. I don't know, I can't win, which is the big problem with where we are right now. God, that's that was tough. Yeah, we're just I should I don't know. All right, we'll, we'll get into here. I want these. I want these. I want this. Okay. I don't may not want my pulses because they're just worse forms of abrupt decay. For the most, well, I guess the abrupt decays are the pulses are better than the abrupt decays. So let's go here. I don't want these. I have a lot of cards that I want to bring in, but not a lot of cards that I want to take out, which is a problem. I kind of want to bring in my Collective Brutalities if I bring in my Lingering Souls. I don't like having too much discard against this deck, because especially like this, because they have so many like big, heavy, heavy cards. So that's one, two, I bring these in. They can field of ruin my white source, which probably isn't good. Which means that I probably have to bring in some collective brutalities to give myself discard outlets. I could cut two traverses, as they're probably going to have graveyard hate. And then I kind of want to find room for these abrupt decays. Let me see what this looks like. Because I could, if I want the Lingering Souls, I need to make sure that I can discard them or I'm just going to get wrecked. Stubs are good. Hi. Hi, X-Fire. Um, do I want Abrupt Decay or do I just want to clean switch them for Maelstrom Pulse? They hit the same things, but Pulse is a little more clunky, but it also hits Jace, and it hits Gideon's, and it hits the other Jace. So I think I'm gonna go like this. It might hit like two Detention Spheres or something like that, I don't know. All right, two in a row. Okay. I'm gonna stub a Cantrip on one more than likely. Depending on what's, I might save it for like a Rest in Peace. Love to see a thought season on top of my deck. I think I actually want that. Cause I would just want to get to my lands. Yeah. I also might want to stub like a spreading seas also. So this goes against Watery Grave. I'm gonna cycle this on my turn. It's a pretty good draw. So we're gonna get Godless Shrine, cycle this, Thought Seize them, hold up Stubborn Denial. Puts me a bit low on life total, but okay, that's good. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just gonna take this rest in peace, stub the spreading seas. <coughs> Sand's beatable.
Okay, so they play Lingering Souls. Probably play Lingering Souls. Now I think I just traverse for Death Shadow, play two Death Shadows. I go Traverse into Street Wraith, Fetch Land, I kill him next turn. Should be sweet. He's probably going to feel to ruin my White Source, which is going to kind of suck. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Then if he has like a path, then now I'm just going to puke. Don't have John Path to Exile, dude. So that's going to hit a Snapcaster Mage. So I might as well do this before combat or after combat because he's going to path me no matter what. Like, I can't beat a path to exile. All right, dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wall of Omens, okay. That's a good draw. Liliana the Veil, off the top. Let's see how good ones. So he's, anything he keeps on top is probably gonna be a Wrath or something like that. Put his card on top. Top, top. So Liliana the Veil, come on. Okay, so let me attack. Then I'm going to bobble him. That's probably the game. Just missing on that turn. Then not getting any value in my Lingering Souls, which is my fault. This is going to be a Wrath. Oh, it's a Ruined Halo. Okay, we actually can beat that. Because I should have left in my Abrupt because of that too. Okay. So now we want to draw Jace. Okay. So we can go Jace up, Fate Seal ourselves. Though so he kept another card on top last turn. And then I can put that on the bottom. And then have a four looks next turn at killing this. Yeah, he kept a card on top. So I think I'm going to Fate Seal our opponent. Would like to play all stuff in the bottom, yes. Now you can just fire up Colonnade, but we have four looks at two cards that get us there. If we find a we find a whatever it is, a uh, collective brutality, then we can also just ditch our lingering souls and cast them, of which we have two. So we have like four hits here. Maybe I just shouldn't bring these Lingering Souls in. That's frustrating. All right, let's stop the recording there.